let's say something happens and your teacher is not doing the kind of thing you find out that he or she is having an affair with one of the followers uh, or is eating meat or whatever is doing or she's doing and now you are angry and you leave your guru, you leave your teacher and you go in a search for another teacher or you just go on your own, you're bitter, you're upset and you keep seeking the story goes on, or you feel betrayed. There's all kinds of different scenarios that happen on this path. I'm just throwing some of them that I remember and it comes into my mind. So you're welcome to share with me your story if you want, but there's a million different variety of scenarios of different stuff happen. Or maybe you do something stupid and the guru kicks you out of the ashram or the commune or the cult that happens too so ultimately there is a lot of ups and downs on this path and it's very natural a very normal maybe I should say normal that a lot of times you're going to feel stuck and that's very frustrating a lot of times you're going to feel very stuck in your path a lot of times you become very prejudiced and you think you're very spiritual and you're very highly evolved but you have developed spiritual conditioning like my guru is better than your guru my way spiritual path is more evolved than yours uh, we as a group are highly evolved in comparison to other people and you have to be careful there too because that is another trap because the moment you think your way is better than other people or your teacher is better or your level of consciousness is higher than others because of your practice or your belief know that you're stuck because that automatically creates separation we're the Buddhist, we're wearing red, uh, or we're Osho Sannyasins, or we're following this guru, and we're followers of, I don't know, all these different teachers out there, and we're the better ones, and everybody else in this planet is unconscious because our way is the only way well that's how Christian church or Islamic faith or Jewish faith they're all doing the same thing and they caused many different wars and they've killed millions of people because of that so you are stuck there too and that's okay that's a part of the deal eventually you recycle eventually if you're lucky because now you're stuck into this spiritual conditioning which is very dangerous I would say it's more dangerous than sleepy people uh, because sleepy people they're asleep and spiritual people they've learned the lingo and the way and they can hide the dark side and their evil side underneath a beautiful white clothes and with the white rope and and bearing the mala and saying all the nice things and having their crystals and feathers and everything and caring for the land and caring for the world and 
all that blah 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 but underneath there's a lot of hate anger prejudice a lot of emotional issues a lot of stuff a lot of greed that has not been dealt with so but it's covered up with this beautiful holy mask so you may have gone through that you may be in it now or you may get into it but know that that's also a part of the path that is a part of your spiritual journey and you have to go into that and recycle into that too these are all like recycling centers that you get into it and you it seems like you're stuck into it you damage yourself you damage other people but that's a part of the path you have to go if that happens to you you have to go through it till your time is up and when your time is up this the grace the yani the grace the guru the master the beloved will come and fetch you out they'll pull you out of it these are some of the things that comes to my mind at the moment there may be other stuff that as we're talking with each other other stuff pop for me and I share them with you but I felt like sharing this with you to put some light on this um, this is in some ways it's very simple to come to self-realization in some ways it's the most difficult thing on this planet uh, it is a paradox and some of us I feel very lucky that I came across my sat guru I came across Papaji and I had a very strong resonance with his teachings and that didn't mean I got it it took another 25 something years before 30 years before it clicked but I feel at young age I was put on the right path very quickly uh, but it's still there was a lot of ups and downs and a lot of twist to it another thing you may want to be aware and be careful that will happen happens to a lot of spiritual seekers is that you come across cities city is a Sanskrit word for power you may come across spiritual power and that happened to me and uh, and that is also very normal I mean it's not a requirement but it does happen that you develop healing abilities you become a healer or you become a psychic uh, you develop abilities to be clairsentient uh, clairvoyant um, and you get you acquire these spiritual powers of doing different things uh, having visions premonition uh, knowing things um, and sometimes it becomes abusive and uh, and the spiritual seeker gets stuck there <laughs> 